I wake up, I feel cozy, yeah. Can you hold up? Don't need no coffee yet. Got no makeup. How do you look so fine? Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am super excited for this week's video because it's very different from what I have been doing because of quarantine. And I went on a little weekend road trip with my family. I had a lot of fun and I wanna share this excitement with you. Um, this is the first time in like a year and ish that I go out like this big into the world. And um, just to clarify, my parents are vaccinated. Everyone like what that I was with is vaccinated. And I did wear like mask and everything. Like don't, don't be mad. I took every single precautionary measurement and right now I'm quarantining in my house. Anyway, once I cleared that, uh, let's get it started with our trip talk, I guess. So I went to this really cool state called Querétaro and it's located in Mexico. Here, it's the map. And it's a couple of, well, no, it's a little bit far away from where I live and well, yeah, I had like a fun road trip. It was so much fun. I love road trips, especially where I went in Querétaro. They have a lot, I don't know why, of like cactus. So everywhere in like, when you turned around in the highway, there would be a bunch, like so many cactuses, but it's not like a des desert. It's like just cactus. It's, it's weird, but it's really pretty. So our first stop was a little town called Cadereyta. It is around one hour away from the capital city of Querétaro and it's so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I had never been to like a place with this type of weird things. Um, I'm going to explain in a little bit what I mean, but first insert the first footage of where the first like attraction that we visited in Cadereyta and it's the Templo de San Pedro and San Pablo. But this one was so cool, like it had chandeliers and the altar where is where the priest preaches the mass. Um, it was full of wood. This means that this church is super old because new churches do not have wood. up was probably my favorite one because it like goes out of the norm it's kind of weird if you actually think about it but it was like so fun for me like new and different I don't know I had a lot of fun there and this place is called Invernaderos Quinta Fernando Schmoll it was founded by a German couple I think their last names were Schmoll I don't really remember or Wagner either of those and this invernadero it's full of cactuses and succulents and all of this like things that gen z is obsessed with well this place was full of them like look at the footage you first enter like this place they give you a little like tour and you enter one thing that's called opa's house or the grandfather's house or in spanish La Casa del Abuelo, and there they had a bunch, like so many cactuses. And like after you tour the Opas house, you go into this place where they grow baby cactuses, as you can see on the video, and it looks so cool. They take years to grow, okay? Like the cactuses in the Opas house are probably like 60, 80 years old. That's why they are so big. For the little ones, that you can see in this um, Invernadero. It's the baby ones, they're like seven years old or probably a couple of months old. And in this place, you get to take your little cactus. They give you a cactus. And at last, my favorite part of the, out of the entire Invernadero, Quinta Fernando Schmal, were the forest, but it was full of cactuses. It was like, it had a little bit of trees, but it's not like your regular forest. It's full, like full of cactuses. You have to be very careful because you can poke yourself with everything that it's around you. It's 
like huge. It's literally a forest, but filled with things that can poke you. And it's, it's so much fun. I recommend that if you go, you're a little young because you have to like hike and you can like see the Cadereita from like the top of like a sort of mountain. But this mountain, it's full, full of cactuses. And I loved it. It was my favorite thing. It was like super weird. I don't think you get to see cactus forests, forests very often. Let me know if you ever think that I am the Just stay a minute, another minute Hold on a second of love this moment, yeah Just stay a minute, another minute Hold on a second of love this moment, yeah Just stay a minute, another minute Hold on a second of love this moment, yeah Just stay a minute, another minute Hold on a second after this, we visited a winery that's called La Redonda because in Querétaro they do a lot of Mexican wines and it was a lot of fun. This place is a little bit more fancy but I, I enjoyed it a lot. I think it has like this really cool vibe. My cousin told me that it kind of felt like Gossip Girl, but also Coachella. So it was like a Coachella Gossip Girl edition. Um, it was so much fun. You can buy like wine and you can drink it. And as you can see on the video, it has like a lot of space that you can just sit wherever you want. You can eat there. And we had really good weather because it wasn't super hot, but it was like a little bit windy so it was so good i don't know why like god blessed us so much in this trip it was so amazing and i loved it we went to this very cool beautiful um like town that i love and it's called tequisquiapan and Tequisquiapan, it's kind of like a rustic Mexican um, town. It has a lot of like crafted things. You can just like walk in this like plaza and you can buy stuff, you can get ice cream. And here we had lunch and we also had entered like this really cute cafe that we love. And we asked for like desserts. I actually got a tea, you can see it here the tisana that I drank and well I had a lot of fun there we just like kind of walk around I got a natural deodorant and that's pretty much everything that we did there that long as I said it was just like a little quick road trip but I had so much fun like you don't understand how happy I am to like have had the opportunity to go on a weekend to a road trip especially when we're just like going out of a pandemic and I'm like just really happy and I hope you loved this video I don't know if you really like just me talking and explaining things but I, I love just talking and explaining things so you will have to deal with it um, I hope you like the footage though because I try to get like really cool footage but that's it I'm really happy with this video even if you guys don't like it I love it and I'm gonna keep it for myself and my memories but well that's it for this week's video. I encourage you to subscribe, leave a like, and follow me on all of my social media. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.